Hi, I'm Kira Garcia. I work here at the Lower East Side Tenement Museum in New York City. Um, we're going to be taking a look at our historic tenement building, which was built in 1863. About 7,000 immigrants lived here between the years of 1863 and 1935. Some of what you see around you is original to the building's construction in 1863, and this handrail that I'm holding onto right now is one of those things. So every resident of this building, all 7,000 of them, use the same handrail. So here we are in um, what was once the home of the Confino family. Um, the Confinos were a Jewish family from a part of the world which is now Greece. Um, they lived here in this apartment, which is three rooms, about 325 square feet, as all of our tenement apartments are, with uh, 10 family members. So two adults and eight children of varying ages. So in the early 20th century, when the Confino family lived here, they would have enjoyed um, a few amenities which were relatively new, including gas light and um, running water. These amenities presented a tremendous improvement on the way earlier residents had lived. So when this building was originally built, there's no running water, there's no source of interior light, whether gas or electricity, um, and there's really not much in the way of housing regulation in those days. Flash forward a little bit to the early 20th century, um, and the Tenement House Act has changed that. So um, these uh, lovely new amenities that the Confino family would have enjoyed did not come about magically overnight. This um, is a long fought battle that goes all the way to the Supreme Court uh, before tenement residents can enjoy interior light and running water and flushing toilets in the hall as well. The Tenement House Act is a culmination of um, activism on the part of middle class reformers who start to understand how tenement residents are living and the sometimes deplorable conditions of, of tenement living um, through photographs through the photographs of people like Jacob Rees, which are really um, well known today. They're still very important historic documents. And when these reformers start to fully understand that um, tenements are making people sick, they're contributing to high infant mortality rates, um, people begin to feel that something must be done. Um, and through this activism, ultimately, we get the legislation that, that enforces the change and improves the health and the lifespan of people who live in buildings like this one. You've been watching a preview of our weekly half-hour American Artifacts program. Visit cspan.org history for schedule information and to view entire programs online.